Ik heb niks, ik heb niks, ik heb niks, ik heb niks, ik heb niks. There is nothing quite so noble as ratting. It has a charm, an elegance, a sophistication that other field sports will never possess. And most of all, it's an absolute riot. Today we've been invited to this partly abandoned farmyard by Ian from the Kent and Sussex Ratters. Theirs is a group bonded by love of their dogs and a healthy respect for Rattus Norvegicus. What are we up to today? Well today we're going to wreck this grain farm here. It used to be a dairy farm. Uh, it's not a dairy farm any longer so it's become a haven for rats. Got it, got it. Who's Oh, good girl. Good girl. From the point of view of everybody here, we have a great time, we work the dogs, we keep their sporting instincts going. We pride ourselves on doing some serious pest control but without the use of any chemicals. And what you kill is what you see. This is a bitza, this one down here, the one at Julie's feet. This was rescued from a, a, a jeweller's in Eastbourne. It just shows the sporting instinct of these dogs. It's deep within them. This is one of our finest little ratting dogs. She barks a bit, as you'll hear in the morning goes on, but she's a brilliant little ratter. Little handbag dog, because sometimes she has to get picked up because her enthusiasm gets ahead of her. That's a, a working fell terrier, so that's a working Lakeland dog with an attractive beard and moustache. Fantastic temperament. And the other dogs we've got here are border terriers. Apart from Wren here, who's, who's a, a 16 year old pat today, old terrier. Just a pat, really. She's old, she's 16. She does her own thing. She plows her own little furrow, really. But as you can hear, being called back now. But again, a masterful little ratter. Thankfully, this is not Crufts, our famous British dog show, which seems to have forgotten what work working dogs do. The first barn shows promise, but with the sacks tightly packed together, the dogs can't get at the rats, which by the smell are here in numbers. We smell of it really, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah, it's even, it's even stronger than your aftershave, David, and that's saying something. I know Brute's back, mate, but you didn't, didn't have to use old bottles. Right, yeah. Go on, go on, girl, go on. Here he goes, here he goes! Then it gets busy in and around the grain bins. Always had terriers, always had lurchers, just ratting, doing a service, because there's so many rats about. It's just, just yeah, just doing a service, and as you can see, the dogs love it, humans love it. I don't know who gets more excited, humans or dogs. And I'd love to see my dogs work, especially because I have rescues, but they're often flats or abused dogs, and it's just lovely to get them out doing what they were bred for and what they were designed for. I'm afraid this is my little gobby one that keeps barking. She came from a, a lady that worked in a jewellers in Eastbourne and a perfumery, um, lived in a flat and was just a little handbag job that absolutely stank of perfume. Um, came to me for, for home boarding and about three months later they decided they didn't want her anymore. So um, she stayed and we've just turned it into a dirty little grub of a terrier. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ian's new smoker has caught the mechanical equivalent of COVID-19 and has quit. But apparently that's no great loss. According to the rest of the team, his hose was too floppy to penetrate deeply enough anyway. It is too soft. And as soon as it gets warm, it holds it, be careful. Shut up! Shut up! Told you. I'm the rat. That's too floppy. I will in a minute. Matter of opinion, I think. I wouldn't take the opinion of all these crusty old geezers and women. Some crustier than others, but no, it worked just fine for the four minutes that we ran it. 
<laughs> Everyone works brilliantly together and every man, woman, child and dog gets stuck in, digging, uncovering and banging. What are your friends normally doing on a Sunday morning? Not this, I'd have thought. Uh, they're probably playing on the Xbox or something. <laughs> Why do you like this? Because I like getting out with my dogs and with my family. So out of this lot, which is the best breed then? Borders. Border terriers. Really? Yeah. You're not being a bit biased. What they're all hoping for this morning is to strike rat gold. El Dorato. Delivering what is known in the trade as a rat fountain. This old workshop has the potential to blow. They're under here. There's one, there's one, there he goes! Go around and grab. Quick, get, go around. It's creepy. Oh, what, 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 they're just so resilient and they're so fast and they know their escape routes. So they're, they're trying to trying to account for every eventuality, especially somewhere as untidy as this is quite hard. I'm out of breath and I haven't caught anything personally. The dogs are doing a brilliant job and the bag is building. There are a few more outbuildings to check, but it looks like 37 rats is our lot for today. Last time they were here they had 114. They're an effective bunch. I mean, one thing that's very noticeable, Ian, is that it's very effective, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, what dies, dies, and what gets away, gets away, and, and the death is very quick. And, and the other thing is, you, you, we can show the owners of the premises exactly how many we've caught, rather than you guesstimate how many you've caught with, with poison. Mm. So there's a massive tradition to this, isn't there? It's fantastic. I've got to say, it's so enjoyable. Uh, I can't remember, it was a King of England who said he didn't know what he enjoyed most fox hunting or ratting, but he said it has to be ratting because it is so enjoyable. And a good thing is you can bring your, your small dogs along, as you saw some of the dogs here, they're, they're, they're sort of lap dogs, but they've got deep within them the, the instinct and the tenacity to go after rats, take a bite and go back again. I mean, a rat is a, is a formidable quarry. They don't go easily and the dogs really enjoy it. It maintains their sporting heritage and every single one of them will sleep well at the end of today, without a doubt. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the Kenton Sussex Ratters.